I have just finished my workout and I'm, I've got something to say. But before I say, wait till I get to say, because um, something came to my attention a while ago and um, I feel um, I should speak on it, I should talk about it. And um, after, um, after combing the internet and um, after scanning social media platforms and not really seeing someone talk about this, talk about it. I haven't seen anybody speak on this thing. Anybody from our part of the world speak on this thing. I feel I should talk on. Uh, I should talk about it. I don't know why no one has um, has um, spoken against this thing or talked about this thing. Maybe it's uh, because of fear of what the people concerned, the people involved, will do to that person. Maybe that person. Maybe people are afraid that if they speak on this thing, they will be denied some. Uh, some opportunities and they, they may they might be kicked out of some places so i feel me fuck it i going to speak on it but before i talk about it i want to say something to our african leaders to our people in government in africa in nigeria i'm a nigerian see i'm ashamed of you people i'm ashamed of all of you and if you feel i'm talking about you uh, I, i'm not gonna mention names uh, before somebody comes with innuendo and shit like that. But if you feel I'm talking about you, if you feel what I'm about to say now is um, directed at you, well, fuck you. You can kiss my ass for all I care. You can stop my <clears throat> from here to Mexico. I don't give a two cent fuck about it. I'm ashamed of you people. I'm so ashamed of you people. When you guys are sick, you come to Europe, you go to America for medical evaluation. You will go to get checked up in some foreign countries. Instead of fixing your healthcare system, you send your children abroad, make them go go school. Instead of fixing your education uh, whatsoever, instead of changing your curriculum, our curriculum and Fixing our school systems. You send your children abroad. And whenever you're sick, you come here for treatment. You come here for uh, on holidays. You steal all our money, dump it in foreign countries, foreign bank accounts. Shame on you. And you seriously think those people give a fuck about you. You think if you die tomorrow, they're going to let that money go back to Africa? I'm ashamed of you people. Fuck you. If you feel in your heart that this message is directed at you, well, kiss my ass black ass i don't get that out of my system because i've been just one commod that from my chest before i speak on this issue see i've been um i've been searching for where i can for where to do my masters my masters and uh, i want to get a phd not that i need it for anything i just want to put it in my drawer at home but then um, I notice I've noticed something. I've been searching the internet to do because I can only do it online. Because my line of business will not allow me go to a school, sit in a classroom, and be listening to someone whom I'm smarter will tell me shit. <laughs> Sorry, someone whom I'm smarter than tell me bullshit. So I can only do it online because of time constraint and all those things. So I've been searching for schools where I can do it, where... And I noticed this trend. I noticed that foreign, that some of these schools, these foreign schools, it seems like they are intentionally targeting foreign students. And when I say foreign students, you know whom I mean. You know whom I'm talking about. Foreign students, you know whom I'm talking about. Because if you check... If you check the data, if you check the statistics, you will see that Africans, Africans spend lots of money in these foreign countries going to school to acquire some level of quote-unquote education. How many Nigerians are in the UK going to school? How many Nigerians are in Canada going to school? How many Nigerians are on the mainland of Europe going to school? In the USA going to school? All over the world going to school? 
Now, it make have been begin this uh, this uh, for this uh, video by saying fuck you to our ministers, fuck you to our senate people, fuck you to our people in government, fuck to you. If you feel I'm talking about you, fuck you. I'm not gonna mention them before somebody comes or comes with defamation and bullshit, shits like that. Instead of listening to these messages and trying to fix the things that are that are that, are, that have gone wrong you'll be coming with the defamation lawsuit trying to sue somebody fuck you i've been searching for schools mostly in canada because i want to go i want to do a program in english i want to do an english program but whenever i clicked on it said i i always noticed this thing that foreign students international students they have to pay three times the tuition fees of a, a, a indigenous a student so out of curiosity i sent a message to one of them schools i asked them who is an international student and who is a domestic student? An email came back to me explaining that an international student is someone with a foreign transcript. Someone with a... With, if you've not been go school for that country, you'll be international student. If you've not been go primary school, secondary school, if you've not been do kindergarten in that, you, in that country, you're an international student. So... Courses and programs where indigenous people who have been born in that country will pay like $4,000 to complete. An international student will pay $20,000 to complete that same program, that same course. And I'm like, what the fuck? Even online, even online programs, even online programs, a domestic student will pay four thousand Canadian dollars. An international student will pay fourteen, seventeen, and I'm like, what the fuck? In some cases, the domestic students even pay nothing. I haven't seen anyone talk about this because I know, say, I know that our people, I know that Nigerians are in Canada. Paying this ridiculous amount of money to acquire some form of education. Wish I was ye ye people at home. No fit provide for us. Our ye ye people no fit provide for our children. I haven't seen anybody speak on this thing. I don't know whether it's out of fear. Say the country might may, maybe um, kick them out of the country or deny them visa access to the country. But see, if we don't speak on these things, people will not see these things. People will not do anything about these things, man. What? It's the same program. The same program, the same internet, the same online platform, the same um, software they're going to use. The same thing. But simple because your transcript comes from a foreign country, comes from Africa. You have to pay four times the tuition fee of an indigenous, of a permanent resident. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? What the hell? Uh, 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 I saw a program I was interested in. I checked the fees, the tuition fees. Domestic student, meaning person where being do the you know, undergraduate this thing inside Canada, born in Canada, do primary school in Canada. Could pay like four thousand Canadian dollars to finish the whole thing, the two year program. Me go pay me go pay seventeen thousand, and I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I can do with seventeen thousand? Are the vex?